this is a quick uh, walkthrough for those of you who may need to set up a QR code to satisfy the change of requirements from manual to digital uh, contact tracing collection. Now, that was announced by Anastasia Palaszczuk on Sunday the 20th. Short notice, she gave people 72 hours to move from, from manual handwritten processes to digital. Not a bad move, I believe. Uh, there are a couple of ways of doing this you know, simply. Um, one is using Microsoft Forms. The other one is using probably Google Forms. Microsoft Forms needs you to have an 0365 account, which makes sense. Go to forms.office.com and let's create a, a new form to collect your QR code. First thing, quite simply, is to put in a title for this uh, for this QR code. Add a description. Now, the, the mandatory fields that we need are uh, a name, um, an email address, and if there's no email address, then a residential address. But for the sake of this, we'll just use an email address and a mobile phone number. The form itself actually captures when it's, when it's submitted, so we don't need to have a, have a date time field for that. So let's add a new one. Pick text. So that effectively has created us a form that we can, we can actually create a QR code from to use. So how do we get the QR code? A couple of things we need to do here still. Um, each of these fields we can select that they are required. So when the user actually uses the form, they are they are forced to fill that out. You can't submit it without doing that. That makes sense. There's three. Now, if you come up to the ellipsis here and go settings, uh, at the moment it's selected for finding people who are authenticated in the domain or in our in our organisation. Just just tick that one there so anyone can respond. Now anyone with an internet connection can use this QR code. I would uh, customize the thank you message. Response was submitted, that'll do for now. And then boom, uh, we can customize the theme and do some, do some cool stuff. Let's pick, uh, pick that. And now we can pre preview our form. So this is the form that the user will actually get once they use their smart device to, to capture the QR code. So how do we get the QR code? Oh, I'm just going back for a second. And obviously, that's how it'll appear um, from a mobile view. Go back. Now, if we click the share button, this is where we get the links to be able to use this form. The one we're after is QR code. Uh, like I said at the start, uh, this Microsoft Forms is very similar to Google Forms uh, in, in how they use, they're quite basic. I think the difference is with Google Forms, uh, you get a URL link and you have to go off and actually um, build the QR code uh, at a different link, but really simple to do, it's, it's not that hard. So let's download that QR code, which we've got now, that's cool. And we will, I'll change the screen and we'll grab uh, a sample. Okay, so here's my Errol's Burger and Beers, Beers form, which people are gonna see when they first come into the, the organization. Venue, pub, club, whatever it may be. Uh, so let's now insert that QR code picture. Uh, one of the Queensland COVID information sites. I think that was um, covid19.qld.gov.au. Okay, so now we've done that, what we need to do is to print that off, put it in a stand. So when people come in, they use their smart QR reader. Loading. Okay, so from my phone, uh, just uh, scanning this QR code, this is the exact form that I set up before. Now, of course, this form doesn't actually validate the the data that we're entering, which I think is a, is a serious flaw in the system, but nevertheless, it is an honest system. Go submit. Thanks. Your response was submitted, and you'll see that was the um, that custom response that we set up we probably would have renamed that. So at this stage, um, this is done. The users uh, click the QR code and they've submitted. Let's go back to our form and we can see we've got that one response. Here's the details that I just uh, filled in with my phone and, and boom, we're in business. It's as simple as that. Um, the responsibility that you have as, as a small business is that when uh, health or someone comes along looking for information based upon tracing needs, um, you can actually open this data up in Excel and you can provide this Excel with all the data to the, uh, to the people who need it.